Hey folks, have you ever had that occasion where you need to reflash your Bob CNC machine? Well, I have. If you go into Easel, um, Easel can mess things up in your firmware settings. So the best thing to do is download Bob's sender, Bob's basic sender, and I'll put the link for the uh, web address underneath here. When you, when you load his sender though, the wizard has a tool in there called firmware flashing tool. So you just go there, select your machine. I've got the Evolution 4, so that's what I'm going to select. It's got all the machines in here, KLs. It's got the uh, Re Revolution 2. And it does have the, uh, it's got the E3s in here, self-squaring E3 2, E4. E4 self-squaring. But I'm going to pick the Evolution 4. Even though my machine is longer than the standard Evolution 4, I'm going to I'm going to use it anyway because I'm going to ch change the uh, maximum X travel uh, manually. So I'm just going to hit flash and there it goes. It doesn't take long at all. Flashing, please wait. Now you do want to select the correct um, Arduino. And I'm pretty sure Arduino is loaded in here. Uh, okay, flash complete. Um, if you haven't, if, you fla if you're flashing for the first time, Arduino uh, will load, I'm pretty sure. I can't tell for sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, this this machine's, you know, I put the Arduino drivers in it before, so I'm gonna hit connect. Okay. And down here, I'm gonna type. I need to change my x-axis maximum travel, so I'm gonna put dollar sign 130 equal 1280. Okay, now I can confirm that just by typing that, and you'll see right here, dollar sign 130 equal 1280. Now I am also going to hit home. Let's see what happens. There we go. Looks good. Happy with this.